How hard is it to learn lead guitar? I did a search for this on Google and here's the first thing that comes up. It says lead guitar is hard to learn because you need to learn a lot of different techniques. Lead guitarists need to learn how to play bends, slides, legato, string skipping, and other similar techniques. Once you learn these techniques, how hard lead guitar is to play depends on what type of music you want to play. First of all, I believe if you ask 10 guitar players this same question, you might get 10 different answers. So there are no right or wrong answers. I do understand that it can be challenging learning the different techniques. However, I feel that will come later once you have some of the guitar basics down. I do agree with the level of difficulty depending on what type of music you want to play. So my answer to this question is simply this. I feel that it is not hard at all to learn lead guitar these days with the internet, YouTube, and all the apps and resources that you have available. Not to mention most of it is completely free. With that said, what you don't want to do is start searching YouTube and going crazy trying to learn a bunch of stuff all at once. Because it would be so easy to get overwhelmed and then you either get discouraged or feel that you're not progressing like you want because you never focused on getting the fundamentals down first. So if you're just getting started with learning to play lead guitar, it is very important that you focus on the basics first and start out slow. And just like with anything else, the more you practice, the quicker you're going to make progress. Here are seven quick tips that will help you start out the right way. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to go into much detail on each one, but I do already have specific videos and playlists for all of these areas of learning guitar. I will leave links in the description for all of this and other resources that will help you. Tip number one, make sure you are at a place in your playing where you're comfortable as a rhythm guitar player where you can play open and bar chords and can play songs all the way through. You should be able to change chords, play in time, and play different strumming patterns along with picking each note of a chord and making everything sound good. Tip number two, you need to know all of your open string notes and how to figure out all the notes on the guitar. You should have a basic understanding of how to play different chord progressions and how to figure out what key a song is in. Tip number three, before learning scales or specific lead guitar parts to songs, start out with some basic finger exercises so you can play notes cleanly and pick notes from string to string. Here is a finger exercise that I recommend you start with. All we're gonna do is start with the index finger on the top E string, play a down stroke, and then we're gonna go to the next note with our middle finger, next note, third finger, fourth finger, then we're gonna go to the A string, do the exact same thing. Index finger, middle, third, pinky, D string, same thing. All down strokes with my right hand picking. G string, B string, bottom E string. Now we're gonna come back the exact same way and it's still all down strokes. So we're starting with our eighth fret right here, pinky, and we're going down. B string, G string, D string, A string, lower E string. Now the goal is to be able to just go from here all the way through the exercise and end up here and then come all the way back down. And now instead of just using down strokes, you can do alternate picking. So let's go ahead and speed things up just a little bit and run through the whole exercise. Tip number four, learn the minor pentatonic scale pattern. I'm going to show you the scale pattern in the key of A and show you how to play it in different keys. All right, so here is the minor pentatonic scale pattern in the key of A. Once again, kind of looks like our finger exercise to where our index fingers on the fifth fret. Uh, we're not gonna play anything on the sixth fret, but the third finger is always gonna be on the seventh in the pinky, or you could use your third finger on the eighth fret, depending on you know what's comfortable and what works best for you. So we're gonna start out with the index finger on the top string, fifth fret, that's your A note. 
And then we're going to go to the pinky or eighth fret on your top string. Now on your A string, it's going to be fifth fret, seventh fret. D string is fifth fret, seventh fret. G string is fifth fret, seventh fret. And the B string is going to be fifth fret, eighth fret. Bottom E is going to be fifth fret, eighth fret. So if I want to play this scale pattern in different keys, all I've got to do is move this top note that my index finger is on. So instead of playing right here, which is A, I can move it down two frets, and now I'm in the key of G. I can move it up here to the eighth fret, now I'm in the key of C. Learn the major scale pattern. Once again, I'm going to show you this scale pattern in the key of A and show you how to play it in different keys. So here is the major scale pattern in the key of A. So we're going to start with the index finger on the fifth fret on the top E string because that's your A note right there. And so it's going to be fifth fret, seventh fret, then on the A string, it's going to be 4th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret. On the D string, 4th, 6th, 7th. On the G string, 4th, 6th, 7th. On the B string, there's just going to be two notes. It's going to be 5th fret, 7th fret. On the bottom E string, it's going to be 4th fret, 5th fret. Now we could go up to the seventh fret to finish out the scale if we want, but the idea is to go from this A to this A. So the major scale works the exact same way. The difference is, is once again, you've got your middle finger as your root note. So right here, we're in the key of A. If I take this middle finger and move it down here to this G note, then now we're playing the same scale pattern in the key of G major. Move it up once again to the 8th fret. There's your C, so this is C major. Tip number 5, practice these scales the same way you would the finger exercise we talked about. Try to apply them to songs that you know and play along with the songs. Remember that a song will either have a major feel and you will use the major scale pattern, or it will have a minor or bluesy feel and you will use the minor pentatonic scale pattern. Another great way to practice is playing over guitar jam tracks. This is where you are playing guitar over a track that has drums, bass, and maybe other instruments. I highly recommend a YouTube channel for this called Elevated Jam Tracks. Tip number six, now you're ready to start learning some of the guitar techniques as we mentioned earlier. I recommend you start out with bending strings, vibrato, and hammer-ons and pull-offs. Tip number seven is very important. Once you get really comfortable playing the first major scale pattern, understand that all of those same notes can be played in other positions on the guitar. No need to be in a hurry, but over time, there are four other scale pattern positions that you can learn. And the goal is to be able to play lead guitar in a specific key and use the whole fretboard. Here is a quick look at an app that I use on my iPhone and iPad. Notice we are in the key of A major and we've already talked about position one. Once again, I will leave a link in the description for this scales app along with other videos and playlists related to this tutorial that will help you in your quest to become the lead guitar player that you want to be. Remember, practice doesn't make perfect, but it does make progress and repetition is the mother of skill. Most of all, just have fun because that is what playing guitar is all about. Be sure and remember to subscribe and it would be awesome if you could share this video with someone in your community that may find it helpful. Click the playlist on the screen or the one I'll link below for more videos all about becoming a lead guitar player. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments section and I'll see you in the next video.